Hi everyone, welcome to Anna Dialogue. Today we're going to do a quick video on a special characteristic of our music media, of our vinyl records, our cassettes, our CDs. Unfortunately, a kind of annoying factor. Ever thought or asked yourself, what are these? Let's take a look. Okay, today we're going to talk about cutouts. Yes, this is a precise process done by the record industry. It's not some crazy guy with a knife or a saw or something or a kid playing around with your records. No, this unfortunately I would say is a common practice mainly in the United States and mainly in the past century, although things still take place today, and regards mainly vinyl records. Here's you can you can see another example of the Commodore this excellent Commodore's album. But not only, I also have an example here, I think you can see it, of a new cassette tape which was sold as sealed mint. But unfortunately as you can see someone drilled a hole here. Um it's not for air, no guys. This is uh to distinguish this copy from other copies. The same process has done with this, is to distinguish this from other copies. Why is this done? Well, mainly for promotional reasons. When uh, an album didn't sell that much, or just simply there was an overstack of, of copies, as today happens, we, they, the producer, the, 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 the labels, the houses of production just decided to drop the price. In order to make sure that would happen though, they had to do this they had to cut a little piece out because this obviously would uh, lower the, the the price the value of it so people who spent the, um, the, 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 the entire value of, of the album was somehow um, protected I mean that's that's something correct I, I must admit but at the same time this was used to differentiate the, uh, the this type of copy the promotional copy from the good copy in the shops because um, first of all retailers could have um, not listened to them to the production houses to the record labels etc but simply increase the price and take the the difference of the income so that was a way to know 100% that they're not gonna sell this record at a different price <clears throat> plus a lot of people were, were stocking up these records and they were sell, send, sending them back asking for full credit so um if you have a promotional copy you can't ask for full credit because the value is decreased obviously so these are the main reasons why you will find this on different types of, of medium as i said not only uh, vinyl records but also cassettes also cds so um the downside though and you have to be careful is that when you buy these records CDs, cassettes, etc. etc. And, and sometimes they're also claimed to be mint or near mint. And then you discover you have this. Be careful because the value is completely changed. It drops. I mean, if you're talking of something a little more rare, like, I don't know, a Pink Floyd or a Beatles album, and you find something like this, I mean, <laughs> oh boy, you're, you're really, um, uh, you really have to pay it much lower than its true value. Plus, it's not going to be worth it in the, in the future years. People are not going to want to buy this if it has this type of cutout. They want it perfect because obviously you have some issues, some problems in the inside. The lyrics, the graphics, also the sleeve, fortunately not the record, is cut out, has um, an aesthetic issue and people don't want that. That's why there's a, a drop in value. So be careful when you do your you're, you're buying online on eBay, on, on uh, Discogs, anything that is not physical and when you're holding the, the record or whatever it is in your hands and you can't um, evaluate this because a lot of times uh, that's what happened to me. You buy a record, they even put different pictures just to say, yeah, it's, it's that record, it's, but it's not the precise picture of this copy. And then all of a sudden when you open your package at home, you discover it's a cutout. So... I don't care personally. I just want the music to be top notch. So that's why I'm, I may look for 
uh, first editions, first pressings, and th that's important for me. But I do understand that people would like to have a perfect copy, a nice copy in all its parts. And again, if you want to sell it back one day, you're not going to be able to have a full, uh, ask the full value of that record because this one's compromised. So just remember this. So I hope you like this curiosity tied to uh, records and so on. And hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.